Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jones. I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're playing uh, Legend of Zelda, the Taken Tears of the King. Very, very much a legend. All right, so what's that? It. I'm sorry, what? It's just very much a legend, and you want to. I want to see it. I want to see the legend. All right, when you tried to open the door, Raru said that. Oh, yeah, so we tried to open the door of the Temple of Time. It would not open. Raru told us to go to these freaking shrines. There's one right there. It looks like it has a stadia ring above. We're going to get there. Okay. Can I drop this? All right. I think last time, when was the last time you were at a stadium? <gasps> that hurt, man. I'm sorry, at a stadium? Yeah, when was the last time you were at a stadium? Uh, I couldn't even tell you, my man. I think I should have baked some apples. I haven't been to like I don't know, like a sporting event or like I mean, a concert or anything for it, a very long time. Yeah. I'm gonna go bake some apples real quick. But uh Wow, a stadium. Huh. When's the last time I went somewhere with you for that? Did, did we go somewhere? Uh, I mean <laughs> I feel like if I had gone into a stadium, it was probably you were probably there. I don't know, man. Like, yeah, I've only been to a couple stadium things since I've been in Austin. I need to go see a UT game this year, like a Texan, like a Texans college football. There's like like 110,000 people fit in that stadium. Can you imagine like how like loud that is in person? <laughs> it's I mean, probably it like it's. I mean, the I don't know. The vibe of a stadium is like crazy. And like with I've never I've never been the Brown Stadium only holds I think like sixty or seventy and it's rarely all the way full with everyone like going crazy. Hundred four like one and a half times the amount of people and they're all college kids that are drunk. That is kind of insane. Yeah, like I couldn't I can't even imagine especially if they're like winning or like I mean I could I couldn't even imagine. It's probably really awesome. It's probably yeah. It's probably pretty nuts too when you think about like the age ranges we're talking about. Oh it's yeah, you're talking about of... college kids, man. Like so yeah, like eighteen to twenty three, like <laughs> and like I mean I'm sure there's like there's alumni and all that kind of stuff there too. But it's like a college football game and UT's a big school, so like a lot of times they're somewhat decent. They haven't been like really good in a while. But yeah, and I imagine that the games are expensive. The tickets yeah. are probably expensive. Well, probably that's like the other, yeah, yeah, exactly. Comparable to like an actual professional team. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, your your top ten percent college teams are going to be as much as like a pro team. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. I never um, went to an Ohio State game. Though, I've too. never been there either. No, I don't. Really, I don't know. I don't really like have a college football team, but like I like watching. I like college football as long as I more care that the Arrow? game is close. The thing I don't like about college football is there's tons of blowouts. Arrow. And that's not even if it was like the team I like to watch. I don't want to watch them win fifty-five to three against like Akron. Like who wants to watch? It's like you're beating a shitty team. Great, good for you. Like you know, it's like I'd much rather watch games that are like good games. Right. So <gasps> yeah! that's kind of my rule of thumb with f college football. My first. If, if I turn the game on and it's like three-point game and it's like in the fourth quarter and if it's like middle tennessee state and chattanooga like i'll probably watch that but if it's like ohio state versus like florida and it's 48 to 7 i probably won't watch that <laughs> like i just i'd much rather watch a game that's close no matter who's playing than watch a team i give a shit about whoop the hell out of somebody all right i don't want to see a blowout no like even though a blowout can be fun but if it's your team. What's funny is I enjoy blowouts in the NFL. Like when the Browns blow somebody out occasionally, like it's like, oh my God. It's like I mean, if the Browns blow out somebody, yeah, you got to take it where you can get it. They blow somebody out like 35 to 7. I'm like, I'm like, ha ha, you're a professional team and you lost 35 to 7. From? Where'd you come from, boy? Where'd I think it's just the expectation, maybe because I have a favorite football team and I don't have a favorite college team. You have a favorite football team? Yeah, I mean, the Browns oh, yeah, and yeah, Patriots yeah. are my favorite teams, but in college, I don't have a favorite team That's at all. Fair. Yeah, like, I couldn't. I mean, I have a couple teams I like better than others, but. I would say Ohio State would probably be my favorite if I had to give them one. Yeah, it's, I don't have so much loyalty to them. as like Because I like Ohio State, I also like Michigan, I also like Notre Dame, which are all, like, rivals of each other. And I'm like... Oh, how are you going to like all three of those teams? How do you have an affinity for Michigan and Because I had some Dame? buddies who liked them when I was younger. Oh, you just, uh, you look like the Fighting Irish guy. I also like the Fighting Irish too. Yeah, like I like Notre Dame. <laughs> like, the, like the little, and they're all rivals of each other. And it's like, so it's like I don't really, but I don't like any of them enough. I mean, I if I had to pick one of them to win, it would probably be Ohio State because they're from Ohio. And bro, you oh. better be rooting for Ohio State over any other against team. them, right? Hell out of here! But uh, this is beautiful, by the way. 
Yeah, absolutely. Even but like, t- I mean, but I've always like just a couple random team. You know, random team. It's more just. Yeah, I'd rather just uh, watch a good game. There's it's funny. Game. I don't like Ohio State, Michigan, Notre Dame enough to like be like, oh, I'm gonna watch this game, and then they're gonna be blowing somebody out, and I'm gonna watch it. Okay. Not that much. <laughs> College team that much. <laughs> you don't like any college team? No, I don't blame you there. No, I don't even like. It's really weird. I used to be super into football, and I then see. now I'm like not really into football. I mean, I wrote a book about fantasy football. That's a, that's a dang dragon right there, my man. Oh, we ate some dragon, dragon. cream barbecue. <laughs> we did not eat dragon. <laughs> Rushrooms, dude. Make you go, that they feel eel we ate was good. I've determined from eating. Sushi with eel and eating eel at that restaurant. Eel is good. It's just, it, it's like a delicacy. So it's like, yeah, you ain't getting too much of that here, man. We ain't about eating that in America. Where can I go to have eel all the time? Uh, like Japan, Thailand, Japan, where they eat mostly seafood because they're surrounded by the ocean. All right, first shrine, baby. Oh. Just got here by nightfall. Pretty good. Pretty good on time. There's another shrine. I can see it from here. See, oh. so that's how they that's how they get you. How did I bring up that thing again? It was uh down. Nope, it was not down. It was this. All right. So I can actually mark this. Oh, from from the binocular. Oh, I also forgot that the controller actually controls this. This confused the hell out of me for a long time. Uh, how do you place a pen? A button. Uh, okay. So I will mark that one so that we know to go there next, and we'll try to fit the first uh, shrine here on the second. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's win. All right. Are you winning, son? I don't know. I don't know if I'm winning yet. We'll see. Those are, I think those are teleporter pads, but I don't think I have that ability yet. Oh, because you can't teleport from shrine to shrine. Usually. I, can, yeah, I can't do anything right now, really. Yeah, you can like <laughs> walk around on the map. <laughs> it's things with sticks. <laughs> yeah, you can hit things with sticks, walk around on the map. I have up a couple birds, though. You uh, did. You got some Chocobos. I did get some Chocobos. Chocobos. Chocobo, bo, bo. What do we got for me, baby? What do you got, Raru? Say something. Oh. <laughs> yes, I made it here. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe uh, the light will restore the ability in your right arm. Mm-hmm. Now then... Extend your hand. All right, here you go. Oh. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, I got the Rasengan. Oh, oh did you? <laughs> it is. They should have a Naruto game like this. I agree. This is what I was talking about in the, when we were doing the podcast episode. I was like, yeah, they need this. So... Ultra Hand is the first ability. Grab and move objects. Rotate them and stick them to other objects. Insanity. Uh, This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With this ability, you'll be able to uh, build a great number of things. Really anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and uh, receive the blessing from this shrine. Sure thing. You got it, Raru. <laughs> Raru, let's go. Whatever you say. So activate Ultra Hand with the left trigger. I remember. What up, though? I'm here. What Aww. up, though? All right, so we got an Ultra Handed. And then you take this thing, and once again, this screen maneuvered by this. Does not necessarily have to be, but it does. And I don't oh, know. Oh, you're if you're using a free hand, too. You're not, you're not like, you know, I'm hooked to the controller. <laughs> So it might yeah. make a difference if they were hooked to the controller. It might. If I had it on like the uh, the controller, but I do have like one Joy-Con in each hand because I found that it was actually a really comfortable way for me to play the game. And I love the fact that they gave me that autonomy. So boom, this one. Like, what do we do? This ain't gonna fit across there. Look at that. Oh, oh no. no, it's too it's too small, man. So we gotta go ahead and drop that bad boy there. Boom, pick up a Natherner. Um, oh, is that like an Ohio one? I don't remember how. Isn't it? It's R to rotate. And then it's. What is it? 
Vertical rotation is okay. up and down. Okay, I got it. I just had to. I have to see it. And then there should be a reset. ZL. Uh, ZL. ZL. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. All right. So bring it. Nope. Take it this way. Bring it in. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I gotta take. You gotta you'll, unhold you'll, the L button, and then you can bring it in. Get it there, dude. It's and fine. then uh, attach. Whatever. That'll work. <laughs> that'll do. That'll do the trick. Hey, it's good enough. It's not complete physics. Right. Boom. Oh, like you can attach them together. Yeah. Oh, that's really So cool. this is what I'm saying. It's the way you interact with the world is completely You different. can just like put some adhesive on there. Yeah. I'm not just like bringing out circular or or square bombs anymore. I don't even remember a lot of the other abilities. I think there was like a freeze the ice time. block where you could climb it and like yeah, stuff. Yeah. And there was like a, you could freeze enemies and give them momentum and stuff. This is this is totally different, totally new, and I really I really enjoy it, man. It's and it gets it's even more in depth than it is right now. Like it it's getting bigger. So what do we do here? What do we do here? So we huh. have we we see these things. Okay, all right. There's some stuff, some some stuff. And we see this thing. Oh, there's a hook over there. Yep. Or, I could probably just make something long enough to cross over. There's a lot of different things you can do here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. When I did this, I did it in every way possible. But today we're just gonna do it this. I've even gone up to where those other ones are just to see what was up there. And there's absolutely nothing. Uh, ZL me please, and drop. And then pick this up. Got to, got to be careful because it likes to do whatever it wants. And then we go ahead and attach that there. <laughs> oh, dude, that's super cool. And then we go ahead and just stick that bad boy right there. Jump on it. Yeah. All right. Well, that won me over with like the first thing you got to do. Right. <laughs> right. And the thing is, is that. I can do it in different ways too. So I can start grabbing those things off and I can actually make a bridge. I made a bridge so I got, actually took my old bridge from over there and brought it over here. And I went up there to see if there was anything over there. You just die. <laughs> if you jump that wall, okay. you just die. Dude, that's, there's a lot of neat stuff you can do. There is a lot of neat stuff. I just there. like you were able to make a hook, a hook thing uh, <laughs> and be like, oh, dude, I'm riding this to Right? Heaven. A little hook gondola. A li yeah, you made a hooker. <laughs> TJ right. or otherwise. Cool. Well, we'll uh, we'll head over to the next one. Oh, we got things to do. Oh, sh sorry, guys. Uh, we offer you to cleanse this land of evil. You better cleanse my land of evil. Fill me with your holy light. Oh, I just take your orb. I've been filled with energy. Oh, my arm's smoking a little bit. I like that. Smoky arm. So I got the light of blessing. I don't know. Wouldn't it be the blessing of light? Uh, I mean, Pretty sure. depends what language they're translating it from. All right. Uh, may the light of blessing grant you the strength you Aww, seek. Oh, they're giving us nice stuff, dude. They're giving well, us presents. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. All right. What's what's happening now? Do I have to fight anything? I don't think so. I would hope. Not. I think I'm just. I think I just get to dip. Nice. I think I just get to dip, but we'll we'll see. Hold on one second. We'll see what happens. Up, oh, I did it, and there's another one. Oh, he's happy about it. <gasps> oh, you did well getting through that shrine, and you've restored the ability uh, and restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit. And complete two more shrines, you should be able to open a door in the Temple of Time. Bet. Hmm. Uh, you want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins? Already done that. Wait. Then you'll never lose track of them or where you are. It's like you knew. It's almost like I knew. The poor pad offers you a very useful scope. Use it handily. All right, bet. And it's going to tell me how to do that. 
Uh, All right, bet. I already know uh, how to do it. And uh, yeah, on the, on the next episode, uh, we'll get moving. And there's another shrine to. Oh, mark, mark it. Do it before we end. Oh, boom. Boom. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.